Okay, so this opportunity is actually, it's two things. It's pretty special and it's also quite rushed. While in uh, Germany and Belgium this year for the pilgrimage trip that we took a bunch of people on, we had the opportunity to get people into a Lotus Evora 400. With huge thanks to Lotus and Comotec in Germany, they are a worldwide Lotus dealer, and specifically Marcus at Comotec, brought the new Evora 400 to us at RSR, at the Nürburgring. This will be one of the lowest rent videos we've ever done. We have a grand total of about 20 minutes with this car. Uh, we really aren't gonna be able to get very many drive-bys. It's pretty much gonna be the two GoPro angles that we have here, and we wanted to do more, and it just, we don't have the time. However, there was the opportunity to drive. Oh, wow, okay, I like. It's about 85% new. A lot of refinement, a lot of changes. Exterior styling, overall the proportions and shape haven't changed, but it wasn't bad to begin with. It's just, it's sharper. Everything about the lines on it have been sharpened up. The interior is better. The build quality feels better. The console between the seats is actually really nice now. It's been well refined. The gauges are only a slight revision. Everything's better. They've kept the beautiful shape and made the car they were, they were supposed to make. All right. Three modes, comfort that we're currently in. We'll go to sport and that changed the exhaust instantly. Ooh, the power is so progressive. This 400, as the name suggests, has about 400 horsepower. It's, it's supposed to technically be about 406, but let's just follow along and say the Lotus 400 means 400 horsepower. This engine has an all new supercharger, so it has not only different power than it did before, but it also has just a little bit more consistent delivery than the prior Evora. All right, so we're in sport. I won't go to race quite yet. We need to get this on track. We need to get more time with this car, but that sounds delicious. Delightful. Look at this little German road that I am sawing on in this car. Yes, Speedo, I see you. Yes, I am speeding. No, I don't really care. <laughs> okay, I, I should stop. I should stop that. I should control myself. This is not my car and I don't have very long with it. Yeah, this is actually a car they are about to sell to its new happy owner. So I'm trying to be very careful, trying to be conservative. It's difficult behind the wheel of this Evora. The shifting feel is far better. You know what? It's better than a lot of Porsches. It's far more precise and it feels more robust. Definitely better than the one that was in the prior generation. This one is sharper and it has the, the, the you can shift this fast feel that the Lotus gearbox frankly has been missing for lots of generations. I mean, it really isn't present in the Elise or the Evora in factory setup. And yet this one has gotten it right. Finally, it just works. So this is the car you're gonna wanna have. It's, it's the manual, it's the six speed manual that you're gonna wanna get. That is the best heel and toe placement I've experienced. The steering is now electric. That's the biggest thing I've been wondering because Todd and I have discussed the steering and the feel of this car so much and how much it appeals to him as a Lotus enthusiast. Before with the S, we talked about 90% of the reason you buy that car is because of the steering rack and because of the handling. You have to overlook other things. Not that it's a bad car by any means, but honestly, Porsches are far better refined and they'll hold their value. This has more feel of the speed than Paul's Cayman GTS. Candidly, I am more aware of the speed I'm going and I'm getting more information in the corners than I do in his GTS. I'm not getting as much information actually as I did in the prior generation of the Evora. I mean, look, I'm at 95% that much information, maybe on the worst case, 90%. So you can argue by losing that steering feel did I lose the worst part of the steering feel? Did it just feel more refined in here? Or uh, did I actually lose information I am finding necessary? That's genuinely a tough call. What I don't like about feel and feedback is the wheel jumping and jittering in my hands and giving me feedback of things I don't feel like I need. It's not kicking in my hands, it's taking the bumps, but it's giving me so much information. 
I do think that Lotus wins in the feel department. Compared to most cars, this actually has a great amount of steering information. There's a sensation here at all times. Now, that also means it feels a little less refined than that Cayman, but honestly, in this generation, not by much. This is a car you could buy and legitimately drive it every day, be very, very happy. It would be a perfectly good car to commute in and just have normal life with. Look at that, yes. All right. Yeah, this is a good car. The layout, the instrumentation, the way it gives information to you, everything has been rethought. Very eye-catching and beautiful to begin with. Why change that? Freshen it, update it, and pay attention to everything else. That's what the 400 has done. No longer is it, hey, I bought a steering rack with a car attached to it that says Lotus. I'm floored by this. I'm very impressed. There are things about the Prior Evora steering feel specifically, the fact that I can more easily afford one. These are things that make the Prior Evora very attractive, but this is a car that has genuinely gotten overall better. This is a car I could see more people wanting to buy. I mean, this honestly now is a genuine Porsche competitor in a way that the Prior Lotus wasn't. need more time with this car and sadly we don't have that much time so we'll leave it there do I want this car would it pull me out of a Porsche I think the Avora 400 is now the car that could pull me out of a Porsche I huge I know that's huge this is a genuinely nice car could I wear a helmet I guess I could I could wear a helmet in here that is that is a bad discovery that I could wear a helmet here um, as I drive around the outskirts of the Nürburgring Nordschleife in a Lotus Evora that I am not allowed to track. This is a challenging day for me. Look at that. That is good stuff.